Hello. If you struggle with seating position or geometry, maybe I can help. The second video in this series covers pedal placement. So let's cut the foreplay, stomp the gas, and take a look. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. As said in the first video, pedal placement directly affects your seat position, and frankly, is the most important. As well as the most important controls used to drive, you in fact drive the car with the pedals. In order to be quick, you need to master them. The first step in mastering your pedals is having them in the correct position. Let's cover the basic principles to keep in mind as you make your adjustments. Whether you're using a three pedal or two pedal set, having your brake pedal square to your hip as possible so your leg pushes straight out will provide more effective braking and potentially cause less stress or injury. Your heel plate needs to be adjusted in tandem with your seat angle and your body's natural build. More incline needs higher pedal height and more lumbar support. Less incline needs lower pedal height and possibly less lumbar. Also, the height of your heel plate will affect your strength to push the brake. Higher pedals require greater leg angles and more strength to operate. Ideally, you want your heel and pedal height just high enough so when you apply full brake pressure, you remain at the same position in the seat. As in, your body doesn't lift up. Once you're in this position, you can actually feel where the force passes through your body into the seat back. Ideally, you want to feel this in your hip to eliminate pressure on your lower back when braking. Obviously, effective control is key. However, there's something else to consider as you decide on placement. As said before, the seat is your foundation. But now we need to talk about muscle tension and how it will affect your comfort and ability to drive. If you made it through the entire first video, my poetic waxing about Buddha and a string being too tight is where this comes into play. The philosophy to finding your seating position is all about finding the balance between muscle tension, comfort, and control. Once this is found, your task is complete. You can now relax and move on. The main goal is just enough. And what I mean is just enough resting muscle tension. Your right leg will spend most of its time extended at full throttle, pressed against the stop, and it also serves another purpose. When your leg is at full throttle, you should be applying just enough pressure to hold yourself against the back of the seat, not push you into the padding, just hold you there. This keeps you from sliding down and allows your left leg to be ready for braking, or resting if need be. It is your base muscle tension. Everything else builds from this point. Your throttle distance should be just enough to be comfortable and operate the pedal without strain or lifting your heel off of the plate. Same theory, just enough. Ideally, you need an angle in your legs to be effective. Depending on the depth of your seat, two-thirds of upper leg contact is a good starting point for weight distribution. Your entire thigh should not rest on the seat. Pedal face height adjustments are used to find the best leverage point on the pedal. Ideally, you want the ball of your foot as a contact point. Angle adjustments are used in tandem with distance to limit your ankle movement. Higher pedals require the plates facing more towards the driver. Lower pedals require plates pointing farther away. Depending on your style, articulation of your ankle on the throttle is okay, or a mix of both. Personally, for out of corner acceleration, I push with my leg. For small lifts or feathering on the throttle, I use my ankle without ever having to lift my heel from the plate. Braking is opposite. No ankle movement should be used. Your larger leg muscles are required to be more effective, not only to prevent injury, but these muscles produce much more force and develop a better sense of muscle memory. Regarding brake force, you may notice socks. For the first two years on a load cell, shoes were used. After some testing, I switched and embraced a lighter brake. I discovered I prefer them and have a better sense of trail braking and the last 25% or so of travel. I also have less fatigue and an increase in finesse. Following these principles and mindset should hopefully produce a comfortable and effective base to start dialing in your steering wheel. If you made it this far, I hope this series will help you or at least eliminate some of the frustration I went through. Our body simply has its own geometry and range of effective motion. By managing your muscle tension in tandem with rig geometry, 
developing the perfect position for you is well within reach. Now we can move on to the final segment, clean ourselves up and learn how to dance with the wheel. Thank you for watching. As always, questions are welcome. Until the next video, my name is Kevin and I am Sense of Speed.